Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to run your C++ program in Visual Studio Code. So first off, you need to install a couple of extensions. So the first one is the C, C++. Um, this one right here, so I'm going to hit install. And what this one does is it has the IntelliSense, which gives you some like auto-complete features and some debugging capabilities. Um, but you have to have some other stuff to debug, which we'll show you later. It's the GDB exe that you'll need. And you also need to get the code runner. That's the second extension. So I'm going to install that. So this code runner here pretty much just lets you uh, run your code. Okay. So those are the two main things. And then next up is you need the mingw. So we're going to go to this website and download. Okay, so download will have a pop-up for the exe. And there's a few steps that we need to be careful with. So walk you through that. So you want to hit install and then this one continue. Let this run for a little bit. Okay, after it's done running, you hit continue. And then what you want to choose is this one here and mark for installation, the GCC and G++. So this will let you uh, run your C and C++ code. And then you want to go to installation and apply changes. And you hit apply. So we'll let this run. Okay, after it's done running, it should say all changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog. So I'm going to close it. And now you need to set up your environmental variable. So first off, let's confirm where our folder is. So if you go to this PC and your C drive, you should see a mingw. So this path right here should be in your environmental variables, or rather the bin folder, because Inside the bin folder, you'll see your G++ and GCC. So those are the two exe files that will allow you to run your code. So if you go to environmental variables and inside path right here, you want to add it. So I'm going to do a new and then paste that bin folder. Hit OK. Exit out. And now if we come in here, we're going to write a sample program. So inside your terminal, you could actually confirm your GCC. So you could do GCC dash dash version. So because we have this open, we probably have to uh, reset it. Let me try closing the panel and then open a new terminal. Sometimes you might also need to restart VS Code. So let's try this one first. Yeah, so let's restart the Visual Studios. I'm going to close this. OK, so I'm going to reopen. And then now, if I do GCC dash dash version, you see that it's now it says it's installed. OK, so you do G++ dash dash version, you see G++ is available. And the next thing you need is uh, GDB, which is for the debugger. Um, if you do GDB, most likely if you went through this process, it's not installed. So what you want to do is um, you're going to have to install it. So I'm just going to clear the terminal so you can see better. So what you want to do now is do min gw-get.exe and then type in install gdb. So this will install the exe that will help you run your debugger. Okay, so once you have that, let me clear it again. So once I clear it, you could do um, min g or actually gdb dash dash version 
and you can see that GDB is now showing. So that means that is now installed correctly. Okay, so those are the three things you need: GCC, G++, and GDB. Okay, so we'll we'll show the debugger later uh, in a later video. But now let's just make sure we can run an application. Okay, so let's just make a simple. We're going to include IELTS stream. And the IELTS stream here is just to let you do some C out, which is for printing. So we could have a int main. This will be our main function. And inside, we're going to do std C out and then say hello robot. Okay, so if we try running this, you see it says hello robot. Okay, so now you should be all set up to run your C++ code and Visual Studio code. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.